Hi, Gemini. How are you? Welcome to your energy update. I hope you guys are doing great. So, Gemini, let's see what's going on for you. What is happening for Gemini in the next little bit? What is happening for Gemini? Air sign of Gemini. Air sign of Gemini for the next little bit. Gemini. Some concise messages for Gemini. Concise messages for them. Gemini. Clear and concise messages for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Ace of Wands. New passion, Gemini. That just wanted to pop out. Interesting card. Eight of Pentacles. You're working hard towards something, Gemini, towards a new passion, towards something that is really inspiring you to take action. Let's see. Thank you for those side messages. Gemini. Whoa. Okay. Okay, Gemini, this is a very interesting scenario. I see here that you are having a lot of perseverance, definitely watering the seeds. There's, you know, there's a couple things that you're tending to, okay, that you are, um, you know, wanting to grow and put a lot of energy towards that Eight of Pentacles that came out as the outcome, Eight of Pentacles. You're definitely working very diligently towards something, um, you know, high standards, um, you know, entrepreneur type of energy, just, just, just getting stuff done, okay? Um, at the base of your reading, the tower. So there's some, there's some sudden shakeup, right? And what's helping or hindering you, the ace of pentacles. So there's some sort of shakeup, um, that could be good, right? That's, that's, that's happening in your life. Maybe, um, something you've been working towards, maybe all it comes down at once, but full of opportunities here. Okay. For some of you, this, this might be a shakeup that could, uh, at first seem, negative but be disguised in an opportunity so watch out for that so let's clarify what is this tower what is this tower for gemini why is the tower here for gemini the devil in the reverse so you're having to release something gemini okay you're having to release something and maybe it's it's sudden the way you know somebody um you know, tells you some news or leaving or, or something. It's, it's something about releasing. You're going to have to release something, but there's opportunity in that. Why, why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Why is this Ace of Pentacles here for what's helping your hundred and Gemini? New opportunity. I'm Ace of Cups. So I'm seeing here that with some... Uh, seemingly feels like a heartbreak, right? Or... or, or um, emotionally, you feel that something drains you, maybe someone leaves or, or something, okay? But that really pushes you, I feel, Gemini, into more of your security, okay? I feel like there's opportunity to, opportunity there because I feel like you're going to put your energy towards towards your work in some sense. I want more one more clarifier. Why is this uh, tower here? Why is this tower here for Gemini? Tower here for Gemini. So we have the tower and the devil, some shakeup of release and what's helping or hindering you. We have two aces, one, a pentacle upright, the cup in the reverse. But it's healthy, right? You know, because the devil is some bondage. Maybe something wasn't healthy. Let's see here. Why, why is the tower here? Why is the tower and the devil here? Why is the tower and the devil here? King of Wands. But I see you overcoming any challenges. Exactly. I see you diving into your work, getting things done. Very charismatic, very determined, um, very entrepreneurial. Again, you know, Eight of Cups. I see you really um, steering this energy into your benefit, your conscious mind, justice. Okay. You're about to balance things out. You're holding yourself accountable, you are, you know, 
almost almost look at it as, as, as reaping some good karma okay when something leaves because we're if we're too attached to change we could see it as a negative but i see here that it's a very positive thing for you gemini why is justice here in your conscious mind why is justice here for gemini in gemini's conscious mind justice justice here in gemini's conscious mind judgment you're making a call okay maybe this happened to you or maybe this is a call okay that you made of some sort but i feel here that it's it's the right decision okay i feel here that maybe maybe if if this is something that you didn't decide maybe the angels here are stepping in and you know again i feel a lot of airlifting energy okay we're kind of being um put in 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 new timelines in new scenarios here okay um you are being guided, divinely guided here. I feel there's justice for you, Gemini. There's a balancing out here. I think this is very good for you. But in your unconscious mind, you could have the Nine of Swords. It could, you know, be giving you a lot of anxiety. Again, the conscious mind and then, you know, the spirit's plan for us. So in the past, there was um, a lot of movement, a lot of communication, okay? Fast, swift movement. And your next move, Gemini, the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, releasing something, Oh, there was a card that was flipped over. Let's see what that is. The three of cups in the reverse. So again, I feel here that maybe emotionally, you know, you're having to release something, you know, some tense thing here, but it's going to help you financially, Gemini. So let's see here, four pentacles. Why is four pentacles Gemini's next move? What is Gemini releasing? What is this four of pentacles? Pentacles. Four of Pentacles for Gemini. Why is the Four of Pentacles in the reverse here for Gemini? Four of Pentacles in the reverse here for Gemini. Knight of Wands. Gemini, you're releasing, and then on top of that, you're taking a very adventurous attitude towards the future. I love it. I love your, your mindset around this. I love how you are, um, you know, really going forward fearlessly, you know? I feel here like you have your eyes set on something and and Gemini, this is this is really great energy for you. What is this Knight of Wands and Four of Pentacles? Knight of Wands and Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups. So there's something here emotionally that you're not satisfied, okay? You're 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 not at ease with it. You are at discord with it. Um I, you know, I feel here like you're dissatisfied, but you're definitely gonna pour that energy into into other things how you see yourself you know is is the six of swords in the reverse so there is there are some things that you find hard to to mentally transition from right to to move forward from um you you could be of course gathering your energy and you know going day by day and continuing to do you gemini but you know in the back of your mind some of this stuff still lingers let's see what is the six of swords what is the six of swords for gemini the Knight of Swords in the reverse in the Hierophant. Interesting, Gemini, because I feel here, I want one more card here, because with the Hierophant, um, you know, you could be dealing with the Taurus, right? Um, you could be, um, you could be having a hard time, you know, moving away from from that idea again it's a shake-up right maybe you wanted commitment with with someone okay and maybe you didn't act fast enough or maybe that person didn't take action towards the commitment um or expressed let's see here this is a very very interesting one more what is the Six of Swords in the reverse, the Hierophant, and the Knight of Swords? What is this energy? The world. Harmony, completion of a cycle here. Gemini, I feel here like you're trying to do the right thing. Okay, I feel here like you are, you know, trying to be that, that spiritually strong person, mentor-like that you um, are in a sense. Let's see. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, yeah. But you don't feel good alone, right? You you don't want to be single. I'm seeing here, at least not from this person. You you really 
had some feelings for some person that I feel um, walked away possibly for a number of you. Or if not, feel free to reverse the, role, the roles. So in your environment, a Gemini, the Queen of Swords, someone here that could be really sharp, extra sharp, kind of cut, uh, kind of cutting with the words. What? Who is this Queen of Swords in Gemini's environment? Page of Wands. So, um, you know, someone here that wants to take a new path. You know that um, maybe wants to go a different direction and they're closing off or, you know, being mean here. Fire and air energy. Let's see, what is this Queen of Swords in the reverse in Gemini's environment? Queen of Swords in the reverse. You know, Gemini quite, pay, uh, Ace of Wands in the reverse. So, Quite literally, Gemini, you could be dealing with, and this is just, this might be a specific scenario as I saw 111, um, 1111, but you could be dealing with a person, Gemini, that you had your sights set on, and some sudden shakeup happened where you had to release, okay, where you had to release, for some of you had, had to release the fire sign, um, or someone that just exhibits that fire energy, but that's also you taking it on, but, I feel here, Gemini, you're really set on, on, on a person and some sudden shakeup caused this, th this, you guys to part ways in some sense. And yes, it is going to throw you into your work and you are going to ex excel and that's going to really bring you a lot of justice and it's going to help you even out. But you're not happy here. I feel here like you are emotionally dissatisfied. I feel here like you, you know, wanted commitment with this person and uh, this person could be a little cold towards you, Gemini, because maybe they, they want to take a different path, right? Which is not you. And, or, you know, go a different direction, you know, maybe focus on themselves. And so this is, you know, right now they don't want to take this action towards you. I feel here like they want to take a different wand here in, an, in, in another direction. They're very focused on them, very self-focused. So Gemini, your hopes and fears... To not, you know, your energy here to not be able to use all, all, all your resources. You are the magician. So I feel here like you um, fear fe feeling powerless, you know, feeling like you don't have all the tools. That's also an energy, you know, you fear of not, you know, holding yourself to your highest potential. Okay. But the outcome, Eight of Pentacles, I feel here like you're going to work very diligently towards something. What is this Eight of Pentacles? What is this Eight of Pentacles for Gemini? Eight of Pentacles for Gemini. You're really going to be working on your craft, whatever that is. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. One more for the Eight of Pentacles. One more for the Eight of Pentacles. So far, we have the Seven of Wands and the Reverse and the Three of Wands. So seven of wands in the reverse, it's, it's, it's feeling really overwhelmed, right? It's, it's feeling like you're almost given up, you know, confidence is low because you're, could be coming across some delays or frustrations. Let's see, what is the eight of pentacles? Eight of cups. And so I feel here that you're going to be, you know, I, I feel here these, these frustrations that you might feel, Gemini, you know, some of them could be emotionally, right? I mean, this is fire energy, but I feel here like you're waiting for your ships to come in with someone. You really, you know, you wanted to expand and move forward. I feel here like there was some shakeup or something had to be released and then you are being left to walk away in some sense, emotionally, like move forward, right? And so two eights here. Let's see, let's get some side messages for Gemini. This is a interesting scenario. What can you tell us about Gemini? Let's get uh, one of these for Gemini. What's happening with Gemini? What is happening with Gemini? Gemini, but I feel whatever is leaving, whatever is happening, I feel that it's in your best interest. Dreams, inner child, and entrapment.
Yeah, I feel like you have some dreams here, some things that you want to do, Gemini. And, you know, th these distractions, right? These distractions could make you feel as if, you know, just, just sometimes mentally get to you. But I feel here to, you know, follow your intuition, follow your inner child. I also feel here like your inner child has some, you know, there's been triggered in some sense. And there's some healing to, you know, that's going to be happening there. Let's see. Stepping into stillness and soaring into joy. So I think it's actually going to go in that exact order. Stepping into stillness. I feel like the situation is, is, is going to, um, even though I feel, Gemini, you're excelling, um, financially okay you could be on the ver you know you're really working towards something i feel here that very soon you're going to be seeing the fruits of your labor um for for um you know some of the work here that you're putting in okay so i feel here that emotionally you will be stepping into um a moment of of silence here okay as something leaves your life that wasn't healthy and then you're going to soar into joy, right? Because you're going to you're going to be able to realize how much lighter you feel. I like that for you, Gemini. I really do. So, let's wrap this up with an abundance card. Gemini. Release jealousy. The universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's success inspire you rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, you can have it too. So, I mean, quite literally, you don't have to, you know, some of you are saying, I'm not a jealous person, you know, but it's it's the energy of longing for somebody else's situation maybe that tells the universe, you know, that you're not gratif gratitude list, that you are not... Um, happy with what you have, right? And if you're not happy with what you have, then you're going to have more of that energy. Counting your blessings and, and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you uh, be centered in your heart instead of fix, fixated on worries in your mind. What and who you are grateful for right now. Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of the universe. I love this. Yeah, Gemini, that's what we have for you. I hope you enjoy this message and we'll talk later. Bye.